Welcome. Our topic for today's lesson is Basic Operations Involving Fractions Lesson duration remains 5 minutes. Let's check out the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Add and subtract fractions 2. Multiply and divide fractions 3. Express a quantity as a fraction of another quantity Please pay attention as we go through the lesson together. Addition and subtraction of fractions with like denominators. Note that, like denominators, are denominators with the same number. To add or subtract fractions with like denominators, we simply add or subtract the numerators. We pick one of the like denominators. Then, reduce to the lowest term, if necessary. Let's see some examples. 1. Add 3 over 7, and 2 over 7. 2. Subtract 2 over 8, from, 4 over 8. Solution. 1. 3 over 7, plus, 2 over 7. Since the denominators which is 7, are the same. We pick one seven. Then, we add the numerators, which is three plus two. This gives us five over seven. Two, four over eight minus two over eight. Since the denominators which is eight are the same, we pick one eight. Then, we subtract the numerators, which is four minus two. This gives us 2 over 8. Reducing to the lowest term, dividing through by 2. Equals 1 over 4. That's brilliant. Now, let's see the addition and subtraction of fractions with unlike denominators. Unlike denominators are denominators with different numbers. To add or subtract fractions with unlike denominators. We first find the LCM of the denominators. The result becomes the new denominator. Then, we divide the LCM by the old denominators and multiply the result by the old numerators to get the new numerators. We add or subtract the new numerators and keep the LCM as the denominator. Then, reduce to the lowest term, if necessary. Now, let's see some examples. Examples 1. Add 1 over 2, 2 over 3, and 2 over 4. 2. Subtract 2 over 3, from 8 over 10. Solution First, we find the LCM of the denominators. LCM of 2, 3, and 4, is, 12. Which becomes the new denominator. Now, we divide the LCM, by the old denominators, and multiply the result, by the old numerators. 2, divides 12, equals, 6, times 1, plus, 3 divides 12 equals 4 times 2 plus 4 divides 12 equals 3 times 2. This gives us 6 plus 8 plus 6 all over 12, which equals 20 over 12. Reducing to the lowest term equals 5 over 3. 2. 8 over 10, minus 2 over 3. Following the same procedure, LCM of 10 and 3, is 30. 10, divides 30, equals, 3, times 8, minus, 3, divides 30, equals, 10, 
times 2. This gives us 24 minus 20 all over 30, which equals 4 over 30. Reducing to the lowest term, dividing through by 2 equals 2 over 15. That's brilliant. Multiplication of fractions. To multiply a fraction with a fraction, we multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. Then we reduce to the lowest term, if necessary. Let's see an example. Simplify 2 over 3 times 2 whole number 3 over 5. Solution 2 over 3 times 2 whole number 3 over 5. First we convert 2 whole number 3 over 5 to an improper fraction, which is 13 over 5. Therefore, we have 2 over 3 times 13 over 5. Now, we multiply the numerators. 2 times 13 gives us 26. Let's multiply the denominators. 3 times 5 gives us 15. That is, 26 over 15. Reducing to the lowest term. Let's convert 26 over 15 to a mixed number. Equals, one whole number, 11 over 15. That's brilliant. Division of fractions. To divide a fraction by another fraction, we keep the first fraction the same. We change the division sign to a multiplication sign. Flip the second fraction and multiply out the numerators and denominators. Then, reduce to the lowest term if necessary. Let's see an example. Divide 1 over 6 by 3 over 4. Solution. 1 over 6. Divided by 3 over 4. We keep the first fraction, which is 1 over 6, the same. Then we change the division sign to a multiplication sign. Now, we flip 3 over 4. This gives us 4 over 3. We multiply out. Equals 1 times 4 over 6 times 3. This gives us 4 over 18. Reducing to the lowest term, dividing through by 2. Equals 2 over 9. That's brilliant. Expressing a quantity as a fraction of another quantity. And expressing one quantity as a fraction of another. We consider the first quantity expressed as the numerator. Then consider the second quantity expressed as the denominator. We convert the numerator and denominator to the same unit and reduce to the lowest fraction. For example, express 3 minutes, 20 seconds, as a fraction of 1 hour. Solution. 1 minute equals 60 seconds. Therefore, 3 minutes, 20 seconds, is 3 times 60, plus 20. This gives us 200 seconds. Note that 1 hour equals 60 minutes and 1 minute equals 60 seconds. Converting 1 hour to seconds equals 60 times 60. This gives us 3600 seconds. First quantity equals 200 seconds over Second quantity equals 3,600 seconds. Let's reduce to the lowest term, dividing through by 200. Equals 1 over 18. That's good. Assignment. Pause the video, copy the following assignments, and write the answers in your notebook. In summary, 
We have learned the following in this lesson. 1. How to add and subtract fractions. 2. How to multiply and divide fractions. 3. How to express a quantity as a fraction of another quantity. I believe you enjoyed this lesson, see you in our next one. Thanks and goodbye.